Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jazon, I'm so glad that you're here. In today's video, we are going to be budgeting my first paycheck of May. So if that's something you're interested in, then keep on watching. Okay, so looking at the calendar, payday was on March the 3rd, and the bills I will be responsible for for this check are going to be my electricity bill due on the 3rd, my synchrony credit card minimum payment due on the 4th, and then we'll celebrate Cinco de Mayo on the 5th, then we have my natural gas bill due on the 6th, my cell phone bill due on the 8th, my Hulu Live bill due on the 12th, then we have Mother's Day on the 14th, my um, Dollar Day Investment Challenge, I have that money taken out on the 15th. And then we'll get paid again on the 17th. So now that we know what fixed expenses we're responsible for for this check, we can grab our worksheet and work through my paycheck budget. Okay, so payday was on March the 3rd. And this check will last us until March the 16th, and then we'll get paid again on the 17th. And the amount we are budgeting for this check is going to be $1,584. So first we will move into my fixed expenses, starting with my tithe, and that'll be about 10%. So that does not have a due date, but we'll set aside $160. And then next we have my electricity bill, which is due on the third. And that is going to be $101 this month. Then my synchrony credit card is due on the fourth. And that minimum payment is 50. And my natural gas is due on the 6th. And that bill is $106 this month. Then we have my cell phone bill due on the 8th. That is going to be $64. Then we have my part of the Hulu Live, which is due on the 12th and that is going to be $27 and then my investment $1 a day challenge is going to be drafted on the 15th that is going to be $30 and then we'll get paid again on the 17th so those are all the bills that we have due for this check so we'll go ahead and add these up have 160 plus 101 plus 50 plus 106 plus 64 plus 27 plus 30. That's not right. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm missing my mortgage. So I'll set aside one third of my mortgage since I get paid three times in the month of May. So that is going to be $297. And this will be for my mortgage in June. Okay, so that is more like it. So our total is going to be $835. And then to get our remaining, we'll take $1584, subtract $835, and we will have $749 remaining to put towards our variable expenses and our savings in debt. So moving into my variable expenses, for me, these amounts and categories pretty much stay the same every check. So we have food, personal, miscellaneous, and gas. And food and personal will both get 150. And then personal will get 50. And gas will get 25. So that total is 375. So we'll subtract that from our 749. So we have $374 remaining to put towards savings and debt. So I am going to do $200 towards savings. So that means we have $174 remaining to put towards our 100 envelope challenge, which funds our sinking funds. So that will total $374. And give us zero dollars remaining which means we have created a zero base budget 
So next I'm gonna drop down and divvy up my sinking funds. So this total will be the $174 we set aside for our 100 envelope challenge. And then I like to divvy up my sinking funds by percentages. So car maintenance is going to get 10%. So we'll do 174 times 0.1. So car maintenance is going to get $17. And then gifts is going to get 20%. So that is going to be $35. Health is going to get 25%. It's going to be $44. And home is going to get 15%. So that is going to be $26. And then last but not least, we have travel. So we'll just take our total and subtract the other amount. So minus 17, minus 24, minus 17, minus 35, minus 44, minus 26. So travel will get $52. So now that we have all of our amounts, we can grab our iPad, open up our Cube Money app, and fill in my digital cash envelopes and sinking funds. Okay, so we have the funding tab open. So starting with my digital cash envelopes, food has a balance of $35, and we are going to be adding $150. And then personal has a $95 balance, and we are going to be adding $150. Miscellaneous has a $5 balance and we are going to be adding 50. And then gas has a $30 balance and we are going to be adding 25. And then moving on to my sinking funds, car maintenance has a $194 balance and we are going to be adding $17. And then gifts has a $176 balance and we are going to be adding $35. Health has a $181 balance and we are going to be adding $44. Home has a $286 balance and we are going to be adding $26. And then last but not least, travel has a $391 balance and we are going to be adding $52. So that is the $549 we are going to be funding. So we'll fund those cubes. So for our new totals, we have $185 in food, $245 in personal, $55 in miscellaneous, $55 in gas, $211 in car maintenance, $211 in gifts, $225 in health, $312 in home and $443 in travel. So now that we have everything funded, the last thing we need to do is update my 100 envelope challenge tracker. So we have my 100 envelope challenge tracker from the Raven's Nest. And this week we are going to stuff envelopes 51, 61, and 62 for a total of $174. So that is everything I have for today's video. If you enjoy this type of content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.